Hello everyone, Santa Milk 2, and welcome to another Fabric Mod Overview, this time on Fabric Loading Screen. A mod that adds the ability for you to customise the loading screen, as well as change how long the loading into the main menu animation is. And there is also a bonus where it also has a button for the world uh, and something to do with game rules, which we'll check out. First we'll check the configs though, which is mostly what you're going to do with the mod. Uh, there is a default loading screen, which I probably might demonstrate now, just to get an idea. But you'll be able to tweak the background colour, the progress bar outline, which has been changed already by default, the fill colour, as well as the background of the progress bar as well. Let's just wait for the game to load. Uh, in the meantime, you can have it so that you can remember new world settings. I'm assuming this will be where the, if you're like me, who sets up cheats and certain other things, then you can have that as a remembered amount of settings. So you can see the progress bar has a few changes to it. So we'll go to, say, a new world, and we'll see game rules. Ah, uh, okay, so this is what it is for the game rules part, obviously. Which allows you to obviously enable or disable certain ones, so you can um, have the advancements display in chat be removed, remove command block output, disable elytra movement checks, disable raids, day night cycle, immediate respawn, fire tick, and any of the other game rules that you can typically view with the game rule command. And besides a few that you can set as true or false, you can also change the tick rate and a few other values if you want to there. So you can obviously do that before you enter a world um, to set all that stuff up immediately. Um, so yeah, there's also the splash feed time, which is I'm assuming the equivalent of um, a thousand ticks. And yeah, so we'll see also the remember new world settings as well. We'll check that and see what happens. If I just say creating a new world, and then we'll go out of the world and then go to the settings and see if it remembers those. I'm not sure if it would have to actually have witnessed what those are, so it's actually acknowledged, okay, this is what you've set them up for for this new world. We'll keep it for any new world that you want to create accordingly with similar settings. Unless it only relates to the game rules part that it remembers. We'll actually check to see if that is the case. Okay, so new world, and we'll exit, and we'll go to create new world, and we'll see that allow cheats and bonus chest has now been set to on, so it has remembered those settings for us. Good. Uh, otherwise though, we'll check the loading screen changes we can make, so we'll just go to, I guess, something like this for example, using the hex color values. Uh, I've never been good at determining this though, so we'll just try. Uh, we'll just change a few of the letters, just one along or so. change this to say, I guess, D and then 6, I think 5 or 6 is the highest I can go for that from memory. Um, we'll go to 5 just in case. Uh, let's see, we'll just go D5 a few times. We'll see what happens there and if it actually changes or I've messed something up. Who knows? Um, but yeah, so we'll just wait a bit for that. We'll also check the mod menu just in case, to see if you can enable or disable any of these features without having to use the um, actual config file from the .minecraft instance. So we'll just wait a bit for that. And I'll load up any moment now with the change loading screen. So the background's changed, the progress bar has changed, and yeah, so we haven't changed the splash fade time either, which we'll also tweak. 
but we'll also go to okay so mod menu it does display it but we can't tweak things from there so you do have to go to the config for it okay so we'll change this to say a bit longer i don't know how long you can set it to though so we'll just set this to 10,000, for example and we'll see and then we'll also change it to be even slower as well any moment now, it will display, and we'll see the fade happen as well for a lot longer than usual once it's finished. You can see that it's taking a lot longer but it's already finished. There we go. So don't think that the game definitely isn't working, it's just what you've probably set to that. Then we'll try a bit slower with say 10 ticks or something. Then we'll just disable these, because why not, just to show in that how much these can actually be affected. And we'll just wait for it to load. any moment now it'll have it where that should load quicker and these buttons I'm assuming aren't displayed or it's just the settings don't act accordingly um, at least going off the game rule specific ones oh, I guess and also the rule ones as well technically because um, it won't try to remember them it'll be so quick lead to there and we go edit that's a bit, so only for a new world. Whoops. So you don't have access to the button, and these won't be remembered. So, yeah. Otherwise, though, thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.